after all the experiments with the book capacitor trying to say get a certain capacitance variation for the local oscillator and the antenna coil in say the classical old school superheterodyne radio it worked a little bit and I want to refer to the earlier video of one day ago or two days ago etc etc but uh, this is say the second approach I will try to make a new approach on that uh, too simple and read too simple shortwave uh, radio my idea is to make it work between say 2 megahertz and 10 megahertz but now not with the book capacitor but via um, say slug tuning and I have already made in the past more videos about slug tuning say when you move a ferrite rod here for instance here this is one and this is one you move a ferrite rod um, inside a coil um, you can tune to certain frequencies that's very very clear anyway so this is the first setup to make it well let me show it uh, this will also be only an experiment so uh, don't think that this is a good that this will end into a functional shortwave radio it will surely end in a functional uh, shortwave radio but perhaps not on the frequencies that you want or like anyway so I will I will use all the earlier, say, uh, units. This is the local oscillator, of course. I will change here that coil now in the middle of the screen to a coil that can be tuned via a, uh, a ferrite rod here. And uh, well, this stays the same. It is the high frequency amplifier, etc. etc. This will also stay the same. It is the intermediate amplifier. And I have already uh, hoping that it all will succeed. Mounted a, a loudspeaker, a volume control, etc. But of course. Uh, it could be that this will never be used. So anyway, um, all say experimental radio things. Anyway, the IF amplifier again. Uh, there are two uh, filters of four, five, five kilo cycles ceramic filters, and you can say make such a ceramic filter more sharp by say supplying it via a capacitor that has a very low value and I've done that here um, I have to flip it a little bit so you can see here for instance that I've used a 10 nanofarad capacitor to supply the filter and when you look to my earlier videos and also in my books uh, you can see that you can give such a ceramic filter a more broadband uh, by uh, bridging it with a tiny tiny value capacitor in the order of 10 picofarad or so and like I've told here I can make that filter sharper by uh, using it then a nanofarad capacitor but that's more important and that's what I wanted to tell it's now say supplied between the two transistors the, the mixer transistor here and the uh, second stage in the IF amplifier 
with a capacitor in the order of 18 picofarad. So, uh, here is that uh, mixer transistor. There is a capacitor of 18 picofarad. It goes to the filter, uh, the ceramic filter here, and then to the other uh, IF amplifier anyway. So, all experimental. I, I hope that I don't have to say that too much. Uh, because, uh, because there could be a misunderstanding about what I'm doing here. Anyway, um, well, the units, by the way, work very nice. This is the high frequency unit. This is the local oscillator. I will mount it here and then try to get to the good uh, shortwave radio bands. My idea is to get it between, say, 2 MHz and 10 MHz with the help of this ID. Uh, this is a, a coil form. I can take it apart here and also here. This is, by the way, the, for the antenna coil and this will be for the local oscillator coil. And uh, when I move a ferrite rod inside here, the local oscillator will uh, go to other frequencies when there is, of course, here a coil on that paper roll. Here. So, uh, anyway, completely new approach and I'm absolutely not sure that it will work. Anyway, uh, when you want a radio that works on shortwave, go to Ali, buy uh, 10 euros or 10 dollars or 15 dollars or 15 euros radio. Anyway, in that case you can also receive all kinds of shortwave radio stations. But of course I'm a serious radio amateur that, um, well, who wants to make and publish other types of radio circuits. Uh, when, when looking at a local oscillator here, uh, shortwave pre-amplifier, etc., etc. So, a new experiment. Absolutely not sure that it will go to work. Anyway, uh, I'd like to do all these, say, basic super hetero dyne radio experiments and. Thanks for watching. Pen over a little bit again. The local oscillator as it is now. The high frequency uh, shortwave amplifier as it is now. And the intermediate amplifier. That, that EF, IF amplifier needs a lot of adaptations to make it more sharp. But anyway, it works in a kind of primitive way. So, for uh, the first experiments, that is completely okay. But uh, in the future, um, that IF amplifier must be adapted. Thanks for watching again.